Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another reaction video, and today I will be checking out two new tracks from We Came As Romans, taken from their album Dark Bloom, which is out now through Sharp Tone Records. I won't be doing a full album reaction, as there have been so many albums lately, I just could not get to all of them, but I'm gonna be re reacting to two tracks that are back-to-back -back on the record. The tracks are One More Day and Double Speak. I'm not sure what to expect from them, though I have covered most of the singles on the channel as they've dropped, but but I will do these two back-to-back -back on the record as I was feeling out for some suggestions and this seemed to be the most logical move for the suggestions that I got from the album. So I will link all of We Came As Romans social media as well as any physical copies that you can get of Dark Bloom, any merch in the description of this video. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. I always thought that we'd have more time but it passed us by while we were dreaming I swear I asked you a thousand times So we said you're fine But you were sinking Deeper and deeper You faded again And time after time I would reach for you I got chills from those lyrics I already like this better than any of the singles. In the blink of a night, our world was taken. I would have walked through your hell with you if you'd asked me to to fight your demons. But deeper and deeper, you faded again. And time after time, really clean production. Hey. Pauses too.
that show. We came as Romans one more day. Not ready for the, the ending yet, so we're gonna hop into the next track. One more day, definitely an emotional track, so we'll see what double speak is about. Hopefully I won't be crying again. <laughs> Expecting that part of that room to be different. We came as Romans, one more day, and double speak. Let's discuss. If it were battle of the tracks, I would be picking of these two, one more day, which I, I enjoy the heavy vibe. Double speak has that, uh, you know, experimentation with, I guess not really experimentation at this point. It, it does feel like part of their sound now. I remember hearing Encoder for the first time and some of the, the sim, I guess similar elements in that song with it being so heavy yet having all that electronic stuff in it. But at this point, I think they've they've integrated integrated that aspect into their sound pretty well, uh, given I haven't heard the rest of this album. But uh, hearing this for me, not that surprising. I guess I shouldn't have said like experimentation so much uh, because it's been a while now but having that electronic sound to it the intro being like you know the the drums having that sound that's uh, pretty typically used outside of metalcore for the most part so blending that sort of thing into this um but 
it's similar to what I've mentioned with some tracks that rely on like that repetition of the heaviness in in the song uh, those tracks usually won't be like my number one on repeat or played while I enjoy them and like they, they serve a purpose for me and like there are playlists I'll have them on there are times when I will for sure jam them something like one more day will get more universal listens from me I guess is, is how you would word that like I I, th I could see myself listening to it way more than I could see myself listening to double speak because because of not just because of like the emotion conveyed some of the vocals from Dave uh, the the energy and the drumming and like the way it clicks with I, I'm not sure how to like really describe it but it it the drumming did a great job of sort of um, like backing up what was being expressed vocally I, it's, it sounds weird because that like is normally what's happening in a song but it just felt different with that track and it's the one I'm leaning way further towards, but a double speak, like I had said, still very fun. It has like that uh, when the track, it's very obvious when the track is building up the use of synth and, and such like that. To I've heard it with a lot on the Monuments record as well. I think uh, Mick Gordon probably has a lot to do with that. You hear it with Vatican as well, and I know Va those are two bands, um, obviously Monuments working with Mick Gordon, um, and Vatican has talked about like the Doom soundtrack and such. Uh, so I think that use of like, you know, synth to I'm, I have no idea what type of like I'd love to learn more about that because it has like this sound it almost reminds me like visually I could picture it rounding if that makes sense but like also rising uh, as you're getting to a drop or something so having that in there it, it's just a very easy to follow song I suppose and like that's the purpose of it live definitely would, would be something I'd want to see uh, but, you know, in terms of comparing them, I guess I'm just trying to highlight why One More Day appeals more to me, where for some people it will definitely be the opposite. I'm sure uh, some people will will disagree with me, and that's why it's subjective in its taste. Uh, this is just, like, for my listening is what I'm talking about. But anyway, I feel like Double Speak being sort of the more, more straightforward track, One More Day having those pauses instrumentally where it's sort of burst back in with all that emotion then you have like i think around like the minute minute and a half mark or, or something like that uh, there's just very light singing and then you have which i enjoy a lot but for me in that what no, I say this all the time. I call it singy, screamy vocals, and nobody ever, <laughs> nobody ever corrects me. I have no idea what you would call that, but like, it, just so expressive, and you can f really feel a lot in the song, in in a lot of the vocals. So besides the uh, really nice singing, for me, having those lines in the chorus and such that really drive, I guess, that emotion, brought it up to the next level for me instrumentally. Uh, it, it matches that I would say too. It's it's very expressive of that pain and obviously the lyrical content of it is very heavy I think it does a great job You know matching that I would say and then having that sort of synth wave type of outro at the ending uh, It was really it didn't feel out of place or anything because it felt also expressive So I would say like that's probably the adjective that comes to mind the most with this song um, because they are definitely talking about something heavy emotional uh, and it doesn't i mean the song itself isn't heavy in that way but you know like emotionally heavy it matches that and and does a fantastic job so those are my thoughts after hearing these two tracks uh, again i haven't heard the rest of the album other than the singles that i have on the channel so i can't speak to that yet but i will do a listen um sometime in the next few days here i'm planning on doing that so that uh, i can continue doing this but let me know in the comments which your favorite track of these two were and what your favorite track off of dark bloom has been i will link the two music videos that i used in this reaction as well as the rest of we came as romans social media links support links any physical copies for dark bloom that can all be found in the description of this video other than that you can also find my link tree there which will have the invite for the discord server i mentioned in every video we have music related channels and conversation for last fm stats spoiler threads for new music uh, release dates for upcoming music merch collection channel place to share your own music all sorts of stuff uh, related to music also channels unrelated to music entertainment video games 
shows, movies, pets, photos, all sorts of stuff. So if you're interested in coming and join, check out the community. That will be there as well as my Instagram profile link where I do post all music related content. I post my merch collection that I am constantly adding to. I post merch usually like once or twice per week. And then I'll also post sometimes if I've been to a show recently and have pictures or videos to share, I'll post about shows. Every Friday, I post a chart of what I've listened to the most over the course of that week, how much I've listened to each thing on the chart, that sort of stuff. You get the idea. So music-related content. If you're interested, my as I mentioned, it will be in that link tree in the description, but my handle on there is the same as my YouTube channel. It is Rachel Reacts. If you have interest in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.